Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to make luminosity masks using Luminar 2018 to really boost and improve your landscape photography. Right after this. Hey, what's up guys and welcome into the video. On this channel, we talk landscape photography. So if you're into landscape photography at all, consider subscribing to this channel. Now in this video specifically, I wanna cover the topic of creating luminosity mask, not in Photoshop, but actually in Luminar 2018 in the same program that I use for post-processing. Throughout this video, if you want more information on Luminar 2018, I have a link listed below in the video description for you to click and check out on your discretion. So on to the video today, I wanna to talk about luminosity masking. What is luminosity masking first of all and how can it actually improve landscape photography? Well, luminosity masking is basically creating a like next level edit in your landscape photography, taking a mask and applying adjustments or detail adjustments to the luminosity mask itself, which is certain gray tones within your images. Now, when you take an image like a landscape photograph and you have different gray tones that make up the image, you have gray tones that compose of the 50% and less than scale of the gray scale, and then you have 50% and greater gray tones of the gray scale. The luminosity mask is only affecting 50% and greater gray tones within that scale. Now, what is that gonna do to your photography and why should you even care about this process? Well, basically what this does is it applies really subtle but huge effects to your photography that add detail, that add color, that add contrast. Whatever you wanna do, if you want to apply saturation, if you want to apply a S-curve to your photography, but it doesn't have to be that like super saturated part of your photo edit, that can be applied to a 50% and greater grayscale on your image. That can be huge for your post-processing workflow because it can apply subtle but extremely effective edits to your photo. And I wanna show you this right now in Luminar 2018. So not only so you can see the process of how you do it, but also so you can see the process and the end result of what it can actually do for your own landscape photography. This is really gonna improve and boost the interest level and the quality of your landscape photography. So let's get right into the computer screen right now. Okay, so now that we're on the computer screen, what I wanna show you is this image that we're gonna be working with in Luminar 2018. And it's this really cool spring photograph in Great Smoky Mountains National Park of like this mountain stream coming through the valley and you have this really pretty dogwood that's just hanging over like this perfect overhang pattern right over the rapids right here that are going on in this river and you also had a little bit of fog hanging around the valley up here in the top right corner and i wanted to choose this photograph because with luminosity masking when you have a lot of different colors and details that's usually when you have a lot of detail that you can pull out of the image with a mask that occurs on the 50% gray or lighter scale of the gray scale. So what I'm gonna do is just make like initial edits right off the bat. I'm gonna go to my landscape workspace here and you can do like the basic edits in Lightroom, but the benefit of Luminar 2018 is that you can do luminosity masking within the software itself. So I'm just gonna make some basic edits here. I may warm this up a bit with the temperature just add a little bit of yellow to make it a little bit more warm. I'm gonna add some more contrast to it as well. And then my highlights, I'm gonna keep pretty much the same. It has good color in the highlights and the rapids of the waterfall. I'm just gonna make slight tweaks to this photograph and then move on to the luminosity masking, add some clarity, uh, that looks pretty good and come down here and figure out what else I might wanna do. Saturation and vibrance, I'm gonna include some of that, boost the vibrance just a little bit, barely adjust the saturations to bring those in some more. 
Uh, and I think that looks pretty good for starters. So what I want to do with the luminosity mask is basically bring in some more detail into this photograph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. So I select that and now I have a new layer to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add filters and the first luminosity mask that I'm going to create is an S tone curve luminosity mask. So I'm just going to come down here to my curves filter and I get the basic curve graph that comes up and I'm just going to make a slight tweak in an S curve. Now this is my favorite luminosity mask to do because it creates a lot of contrast within the image itself. So you may be looking at it right now and you're like, whoa, that's way too much editing. Well, here's where the luminosity mask comes into play. I can select the brush tool right here and select luminosity mask. And what this does is it only adds this effect to what is 50% gray and lighter. So it's not as stark as we just had it. As you can see, it's created a mask right here in this layer for us to use our luminosity mask on. So there's no selection that we have to do. There's no option that we have to do with a selection tool or anything like that. It automatically finds those 50% gray and lighter areas and it applies this luminosity mask and this tone adjustment layer to that. So let's keep playing with this. Let's go to add another layer, add new adjustment layer, and I'll go to, um, how about my saturations? Let's play with some saturations here in this photograph because I want to pull out some more of the colors. So maybe increase my saturation a pretty good bit, increase my vibrance, which is really going to bring out a lot of those greens. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Select the luminosity mask and it'll pull those out. So that's basically what I've done with this photograph. I can do it, continue to do it in this uh, photograph. Maybe some HSL, bring out some different like yellows that are coming out in the trees, some oranges. So let's say some of my greens, I want to be a little bit more yellow. Well, let's make this more like a fall photograph. So we have this showing up and then I can increase that saturation as well on those yellows and then create a luminosity mask for that as well. So it, now here's what we have coming through. I'm going to reduce that saturation down just a little bit more. So this is like the end result of what we came up with with this photograph. And as you can see with these layers, like I can select the eyeball on them and you can see the before and after effect that this has within the photograph in each of the luminosity masks. So in the first one, we did the tone curve and you can see the difference that that had on the overall photograph. So I'm gonna turn this one off that we're on. And just clicking and selecting this back and forth, you can see the difference that the tone luminosity mask had. It's not a huge difference. It's not some overwhelming effect that we did, but it does have striking detail that we added into using this luminosity mask. Okay, so the second one, we added a little bit more saturation and vibrance. Selecting that on and off, you can see the detail that that added to the 50% gray and lighter tones of the saturations. And lastly, adding just that little bit of color tweak to this photo added some more detail in the 50% gray or lighter areas of this photo. So if I click on the before and after view of this, you can see how much this photograph changed just from using a luminosity mask effect to this photograph. Yeah, we added some more contrast. Yeah, we added some more clarity, but overall it was the luminosity effects that we did to this photograph to make it what it actually is. Hey guys, I know if you use luminosity masking in your own photography, you're going to be really surprised at how much this can benefit landscape photography and bringing out some more detail in those 50% gray or lighter gray tones in your image. Even if you're not shooting black and white photography, your images are made up of gray tones. So use those appropriately and use those to improve your landscape photography in the post-processing workflow. If you're interested in doing that in Luminar 2018, again, one of those links is down below for you to check out a little bit more. If you like this video or you found it interesting at all, 
hit the thumbs up button. Comment below on whether or not you're using luminosity masking in your photography. I bet a lot of you are using it in Photoshop, but haven't thought about the capability of only using it in one program instead of using it in like Lightroom and Photoshop, you can use it all in Luminar 2018 in my workflow that I just showed you. And also subscribe to this channel. If you wanna continue watching, I'm gonna share a video that is best for you based on your search terms in YouTube so you can continue watching and learning how to shoot better images in the field.